Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this gentleman sent me this file. And if we look at everything under wireframe, this has a single line, this has a double line. He's using a fiber laser and it's causing him trouble. So there's a couple ways to fix this. I've got it ungrouped and I'm going to see how big this is. And it's only like five inch, four inches. So I'm gonna, or a little over half an inch. So I'm gonna change my nudge factor to one. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff that we don't need. So these are the inner parts. You need all the outer parts. And I'm not 100% sure this is gonna work, but let's take, now we're looking at a wireframe, so let's change it back uh, to enhanced. And this is what we get. So let's take the Smart Fill tool have nothing specified and specified black, and let's fill this in. Now let's nudge that over twice, and let's left click, right click. Now let's look at that under a wireframe, and we only have one line. Now it is a hairline, and I don't know how the fiber labor laser is gonna handle that, but if we look at it in enhanced, it is now a single line. Now these are double lines, I'm thinking. Left click, no fill, whoop, I was on the wrong item. Let's click off of that, let's look at, go up to object and break curve apart. Let's look at that line. See, it's kind of a double line in itself. It's just got two thick lines. So let's look at it on a wireframe. Go to view wireframe, and you can see double lines. So if we, this is a little harder because the fact that it's uh, so thin between there. Let's convert it to a curve. Let's go to object. Can't really do anything else with it. We could convert it to an object. And now you could take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. We won't be able to see it because we're in wireframe. Go back to enhance. And you've got a thicker, thicker line there. And you still have two lines. But as far as what I know with a laser or with a fiber, that's going to engrave just like it is. So you might have to do that to all of them if it's causing you trouble. Uh, we'll just check out one more. Let's click on that line. Object. It's ungrouped, but it's not. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at it under wireframe. And it's that double line again. I don't think you could fill that in. We're gonna try. And here you've got some double lines and stuff. You can take the virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. So let's try filling this in with the smart fill tool. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I'm gonna nudge it over and then I'm gonna look at it in wireframe or in enhanced. Left click, right click. And we still got two lines, so we can go to object, convert it to a curve. Convert it to an outline, I mean, and go to object. Let's see what happens now. When we left click, right click. See, we've got center nodes in there. It's a double line somehow. Let's try this. Let's try grabbing that. We're going to have to go to break curve apart grab that line and hit delete. Now you should be able to fill this in and that should engrave. Uh, I don't think there's a problem. You just have to check those lines. I don't think any of these will be a problem. Now we're a little bit thicker than we were. but So I've gotten 
at least what he asked for to have a single line on the outside. And <clears throat> as far as I know, I mean, I don't know if he, he's going to cut it out, surely, with a fiber laser. So to make this a little bit thicker line, double click on the tool and make this something other than a hairline. And of course, we need to look at it and enhance. And now it's a little bit thicker. And you don't have to pick five. You know, you can pick something other than a hairline. And it is point, so you could go 0.25. And it's a little bit thinner. But anyway, I hope that answered his question. At least we are got a single line on the outside. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.